I'm not too much, man. Monday, August 19th. Yeah, just gonna go get some coffee. Like Stab, Arizona. Much of Beautiful city, today. beautiful people. Not nearly a cloud. Great it's weather. High temperatures running five eight degrees above. Yeah, yeah. living the simple life. Simple life. Uh, this is flexed up. We only live for ninety. Crest hit mid nineties. Thirty valley low one hundreds. Near record heat as we even get hotter. What up, people? What do you know? Yeah, today we're just gonna take it easy. Just because you know. It's been a long week, so the coach said to us, just take a bit easy today. So we're going to get ourselves some coffee, uh, post some things out, and then after that, get a little massage maybe, depends. I'm not feeling this music out there, can you? Yeah, this is good music, yeah. It's for old, you know how I'm old, guys, I listen to all the music. Come on, Black Hectus. Yeah, BC. about the mountains, man. Where are we going? <laughs> we going to the famous coffee shop. The Everybody, coffee talk, shop. Everybody talk about this coffee shop. We're just That's on our amazing. way to get some coffee. It's called Macy's, I think. European coffee shop. I don't know what they're going to say. We're going to find out how good it is. Even is it really going to be that good? I've been here many times. Even the dogs even drink coffee here. This is the famous coffee shop that we was talking Macy's. about. Macy's. Let's yeah. see what they have. Yes, we are at Macy's coffee shop today. Uh, we're just taking an easy, easy day today in the Black Actis. So we're just at Macy's coffee shop. I've had myself a nice cappuccino, as you can see. Had to drink it here still. How does it feel to have an easy day in your life? Oh, man, it's amazing, man. It's the one day that we look forward to every two weeks. It's amazing. Yeah, so we've been doing quite a lot of miles to be honest with you. So the training's been going pretty well. I've been here almost four weeks in flex stuff and the training's going well so it's important that if there's days that you feel tired or days that you need to just take it easy, just mentally and physically that I think it's really important that you just take it take it easy. I mean like still training but at the same time just like give yourself something. Uh, I think that's the key. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying myself in Mason Coffee Shop, as you see. Um, but yeah, next step for me is going to be a, the Great North Run. Very excited to be taking part of the Great North Run. But this year, man, oh my days. The field hasn't been out yet. I think they will announce it soon. But yeah, it's a really strong field, so very exciting. And secondly, you know, I've been coaching my wife, Tanya to do the Great North Front and she's hoping to get a personal best so I've been putting a lot of work into that coaching her, helping her out, getting a long run and today she actually did the 14 mile long run it's longest run by far so hopefully you know it's going well but you know like on the, being on the other side coaching and actually putting the work it's different because you know sometimes like you give the athlete the training the staff and then you don't know how they're going to recover and then just I think communication so that's one thing I've learned like being with Tiny and coaching her uh, for the last couple of years I think communication is the key thing in, in all success, successful things to come because if you're not communicating if you're not telling how you feel what you do what's going through your mind what you believe you can, you, because as a coach I think you only see it at a certain point you don't see everything so it's always important to share everything in, in life, I guess. Um, for you guys on YouTube, let me know what you want to hear. Um, yeah, I'm just being honest with you as much as I can. And obviously, without giving away my tips on what I do every day, I'm going to share as much as you 
but let me know what you want to hear what videos you want to see i just posted the my track session and i specifically didn't go into track exactly what i was doing but yeah i was doing a long 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 workout and i'm, I'm sure you can see in the video it, 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 it's a decent tempo i was doing on the track um but yeah with this guy abdi and bashir abdi so yeah training's going well and I, I, and I think my aim is to do, I have a Moderna team on Instagram, is be able to do like a motivation, motivate you guys to do one more mile each day, one more run, and put some more, some more videos up. That's what I want to do. I want to go in that direction where, you know, you're encouraging young athletes, young people to do, to do more than they can. Because sometimes like, you might not know, um, but you could always do more if it means if for example like someone's injured and they can't run instead of just sitting at home they can go on the bike they can go aqua jogging there's things that you could do that helps you later on when you get back into training and if someone's going through like injuries like let me know what you want to hear like common injuries for runners is like Achilles shin splints um, that's the most common because obviously you know the impact and the training you're doing uh, but let me know when you want to hear if there's any subjects you want to hear about injuries, about training, about coaching, about motivations, like what what goes through your mind, what goes through my mind. Yeah, feel free. All right, but stay tuned. Thank you, sir.